Welcome back YouTube. We are going to build these drawer fronts today. We're going to put the hardware on and we're going to get them installed on the drawers boxes themselves. If you want to see that, stay tuned. Here we go. Alright, so now we need to cut some drawer fronts. I have this wood and that couple of drops over there. He asked for drawers like this and that's what we're going to give him so what i'm going to do is we'll take these big pieces and we'll make the 29 inch long by six inch pieces out of those this one's got a big freaking crack in it so i can't get 12 inches of wood out of that board anyway so we'll go ahead and cut that one down to six inches then what's left over you know we'll start working the two inch pieces out of it now the two inch pieces we're going to take like this this one's not two inches or i'd use it but and we'll cut a dado out and then we will lay it nicely over top and it'll leave a little reveal on the front and the back shall be flush that way we can glue and screw it to our drawers and make a nice pretty drawer front so i'm going to save you all the milling of this here wood by some moving magic all right now what we get to do now let me explain to you what i got here first i got some three quarter inch stock that will be our rails and styles i got a half inch face board so i have eight of the seven and three quarter inch styles rails and i have eight of the 20 and three quarter 26 and three quarter styles whatever short long either way and i have four of the face frames so we're going to take the face frames down to three eighths with a dado stack on the edges but first we have to get the frames made so we can see how they fit and make sure that they're going to fit right so let's do that to do that we will be using this bosch Precision Pro railing style bit. It is pretty nice. I've used it before, but we're going to be using it a little differently this time because I want the backs to be flat and to use this the right way, you don't end up with a flat back. There's a little bit of an inset depending on how you set them up. All right, let's get to work. So it took me a minute, but I'm doing this wrong. You're supposed to cut the ends of the styles first. Well, in my case, the styles are the long ones. So you're supposed to cut those first. That way you can see if they fit in the profile or not. So here I'm cutting them. You can see that I'm using this little jig I made to keep them square against the fence. This helps a lot, especially when it's square. Now, I didn't show y'all me cutting the actual half inch pieces. So I went ahead and used one of the cutoffs just so you could see how these bits work. It cuts a nice, I think it's 3 8 inch mortise tenon. Yeah, tenon. And uh, it works good. I might uh, use this piece for a little drawer later on. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. After finishing up at the router, I went ahead and cleaned up all the edges. Now, some of these edges were pretty heavy, so I went ahead and used a chisel to clean those up. You want to make sure you got a nice sharp chisel. After getting these all cleaned up, then we'll see which will be the flush side for the back. So, it's all cleaned up. Let's check and see. And it's a nice tight fit. That'll be my back side. So, because... I can't remember crap. I should write this down. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I write back on the side. Or on the back side of all four of them. And then, because these are solid wood panels, I go ahead and finish them before putting the drawer fronts together. That way, in case they shrink, it doesn't show an unfinished surface. And look at that. 
Them things are beautiful. I love this armor seal on this white oak. It's pretty. So, after letting that dry overnight, I come back with a new Star Wars t-shirt to assemble the drawer fronts. Now, I got my rails and my styles. I got my panel. And I got my frame. So, the panel will go into the frame and it'll look something like this. Yep, just like that. So, to get that panel in there, we have to take it apart. And because it's a little on the tight side, we'll hit it with a hammer. Hammer fixes everything. So, when you glue these up, don't put too much glue in it. You just want to glue the frame itself together. You do not want to put any glue on the inserts. If you glue the inserts and it shrinks, it'll rip your frame apart. That's not what you want. So just make sure to put it on your framed areas. Now, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here because, well, we don't have all day. But they do. They fit really tight and really nice. And make sure you get that glue on all your surfaces for your frame. And then once you have that, throw it in a couple of clamps. And just like that, you got one, two, three, four. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the drawer faces out of the clamps because, well, I need the clamps to clamp up the top. But if I clamp up the top, then I have to be done in the shop for today. So before I clamp that up, I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes for the hardware. And we're going to use that by using the Craig Hardware Kit. Now, this says to use a 3 16 drill bit. I've got it set for 3 and 7 8 inches. That gets me right in the middle of this thing. I should have done this before I put the frame on it, but I didn't. So, we are going to have to use a little spacer so that it sits nice and flush. And I went ahead and cut a four inch stop block so that I can line it right up. It'll make running through these pretty quick. Now I've set it up so that I can have it sit off the edge and we'll clamp it down. I've got my drill bit in, the glass is on. Here we go. It's that easy. Then you move to the other side, put your stop block on it, clamp her down. Make sure when you spin this around, you uh, drill the same side. Because if you were to have drilled this side, your hole should line up if you got them center. But, you know, it might be just a little off and your handles would be a little cockeyed. So make sure you do it from the same side when drilling both holes. And I will show you how wonderful this tool is. Screw up. And then. And screw up. We'll find a hole here. And then. And just like that. It's that easy. Now I got to do three more of these. But this is a tool I recommend if you do lots of drawers. We're going to be putting the drawer faces on today. And to do that, we could use the playing cards or just wing it. So here we go. 
I got four three quarter inch blocks. I want a three quarter inch spacing on the bottom. So we're going to set this up on these blocks. Now, because I am in a shop by myself, I have placed this backer board against a couple of uh, crappy dogs I made and we'll push it up against there. That way, I will be able to screw right through the front of the drawer front. I have my little story stick right here. We'll be using that to set the sides. I have some inch and a quarter screws here. We're gonna run them right through the drill holes. So this will set up here like this. We'll use the gauge to the side and that should be the same on either side. It is. We are gonna run a little bit of glue around the edge. I mean, it's gonna have screws in the back so it's not really necessary. But again, better to have more glue than you need than not enough. So, I'm going back up with this. Check it with a story stick. And if y'all want to know where I got this, it come in a bundle at Harbor Freight. I know. Harbor Freight's not the best brand of tools to use, but for something cheap like this, not a bad deal. So, I got it up there, clamp it down. Now, once you got it all clamped in place, you take them inch and a quarter screws and you put them right through the holes that you drilled for the hardware. That way, you don't have any unnecessary holes in your drawer and when you remove them you don't see anything because the hardware will cover up the small screw marks you made and it works good now also what this will do is it will leave you a center point to find where you're going to drill for the recess in the back it's really helpful now with all that you unclamp it and put your clamps back that way you can find them later on and check for glue squeeze out because it's easier to clean up now than it will be when it dries be sure when checking for glue squeeze out you also check your bench to make sure there's none on your bench you don't want to leave your uh, nicely sanded frame and a bunch of glue that you're gonna to have to sand off again later so be cautious of that now I don't want to hit the panel when I put these back screws in so what I'm going to do is I go right to the edge of the style or rail whichever one it is one of these days I'm going to learn what the hell those are Put four in the sides. You don't have to uh, kill them because you don't want them going all the way through to the other side. Just enough to stug it up. The glue is going to be doing most of the work. And then I'm gonna put one right here in the center. Mm, looks about center. A little bit more. There we go. 
Now, your drawer face is installed. And if I'm right, we should have a one inch on the top. Yes. Yes. A little more. Three quarter on the bottom. Yes. Yes. All right. Now, <clears throat> we can take these screws out. Now the hardware screws that are provided are not, they are just three quarters inch long, but that's not enough to get through the three quarters here and the half there. So we have to countersink these holes now. I use a three eighths Forstner bit and I put a piece of tape on it to use as a flag to set my depth. So this is where them uh, first screws come in real nice and handy. It gives you an exact location to drill centered for your 3 8 Forstner bit. And it's not too big to slip out. Now, with those drilled, I did not drill all the way through this board. So we have to go back through and punch a big enough hole for the screws to go through because those square head screws are not big enough to create a hole. They are just big enough to show you where you want to drill with a Forstner bit. Be sure to drill through with a Forstner bit first because once you drill with this, getting that Forstner bit to find a center is a pain in the butt. Do this after the Forstner bit. And then you can put your hardware on. I like to get both of them started before I go cranking down on them. Which I'm not even going to crank them down that hard because we have to take it all back apart to finish it. And just like that, your drawer face and hardware are installed. And it's rock solid. Looks pretty too.
And just like that, all your door faces are on. Handles work. I ain't put the paste wax on yet. Well, all right. That'll finish us up this week. If you want to see this thing get done, ring that bell, like, give me a subscribe, and uh, we'll get it done next week. We'll get the top on, we'll get the trim on, we'll get the organizer done, and uh, we'll get it on the truck. It'll be on its way to Ohio. All right, y'all. We'll see you later.